Right, Nafat, let me tell you, this film is brilliant. I loved it. From the opening scene to when it ended, I was my eyes were glued to this screen. Uh, the world building you created is amazing, and it, it seamlessly blends these genres perfectly. But what inspired you to tell this story? First of all, thank you. Like, give me a moment to <laughs> take it all in. Um, you know what? I, I, sometimes I don't ask myself that question when I write, and then it hits me. Like, okay, there's something, there's this idea, this, these two different genres meeting. Why? Okay, I'll figure that the why later. Right now it's burning. Right now it's a feeling. And, and once I had that initial idea of it's a kidnap thriller meets an assassin movie, it came clear that it should be a mother-daughter. It should be a very, very feminine movie. And it hits me that like, okay, this is the story I must tell. And the librarians were brought in and so, okay, this, is, this just feels right. Instinctively, this all comes together perfectly. And then you understand, okay, this is about three generations of women, past, present, and future. This is about how knowledge is power and how knowledge is weapon and how we start by hiding that power inside books and by the end of the movie the books themselves so all of those themes when you write something they're there they're hiding you just need to carve them in and then you understand what you wanted to say it's like almost like a psychological uh, like a psycho uh, a therapy a session at a, at a site a psychological session sure to yourself, um that you only realize by the end ah <laughs> wanted to say but if all works then all works now let's talk about karen for a second because she is brilliant in this film what did she bring to the role of sam that wasn't necessarily on the page everything you know there's something about the page you read it you understand it it works all right this is a character i understand but i like to write as a blueprint i have you know my wish list but i never want to presume someone will say yes so when you write something, you don't go into all the subtleties that later might come in. And then you have Karen Gillan, and then you have Rina Hidi, and then you have Angela Bassett, Michelle Yao, Carla Gugino, Paul Giamatti. And all of a sudden, you start a dialogue. And they bring more and more of themselves. And I have to admit, I am forever in their debt because they helped shape the characters, shape the world, shape the chemistry between them. A lot of the things, it's little subtleties that you, you, know, you don't even think of until you meet them. Right. And they're smart, talented, and generous. And working with them really made that whole thing to what it is now. Now, you've had a fascination with librarians and libraries since you were a kid. Can you talk to me about why the library was the perfect setting and metaphor for this group of assassins that are more family oriented? Yeah, I mean, I spend most of my my days at school in the library reading. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge nerd and librarians were a big part of my life. I, I actually became friends with, with most of them, but they also intrigued me. They all, in a way, they're like sheriffs of that little town, peacekeepers. And I thought that's actually a great alter ego that's their uh, Clark Kent to their Superman that's like, wouldn't that be great if those librarians that as a kid they look so tough to you Shh, you know that <laughs> yeah well, whatever you say ma'am um so I thought it's just a great brilliant set piece but then again you have all the other layer of knowledge like we discussed right. of power of weapon and how you use that and it just felt right and just felt super cool to, you know, to have all these women play that. Now, is the firm done with Sam, the librarians and Emily? Because please tell me they're not, because I need to see another Gunpowder Milkshake a movie. I, I have to. I'm hearing that more and more lately. And it's actually so, so nice to hear because when you make a movie, you just hope people would, would love it and get it. And you know what, if I have a chance to do it all over again with them, I would take it in a heartbeat. I enjoyed it so much and they're so talented. If someone tells me tomorrow, let's go, I'm in, I'm in, well, so. I'm in too, thank you so much for your time. The film is brilliant. I can't wait for everyone to see it and I, I can't wait to just rewatch it. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you, Joe, thank you so much.